Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan went on TV, uh, I think last night, and had some very critical words of you saying that the Republican Party was in disarray. Yes. I think his direct quote, paraphrasing it, was the only reason he's a Republican nominee is because he scored a lot of touchdowns for the University of Georgia. Now, who was it you said went, did that? Jeff Duncan. Oh, what Lieutenant is he Governor. doing now? Lieutenant Governor. Yeah, I don't know. What is he doing now? He's a, he does work for who? Don't he go on some TV show all the time? No, 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 no. Don't he go on the TV and talk a lot? Still no, no, don't go on TV and talk a lot. Right now, you know people like that. Do I listen to, you know, people told me I couldn't play football. So do you want me to listen to someone like that? I'm here to win the seat for the Georgia people because the Georgia people need a winner. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Are you thinking about voting for Herschel Walker, the football legend? Wait. Before you answer, let us share some things with you. Did you know Herschel's ex-wife accused him of, quote, physically abusive and extremely threatening behavior? That she desperately sought a protective order after Walker threatened to kill her? Did you know Herschel once held a razor to her throat? And his ex-wife said he choked her. And, quote, he held the gun to my temple and said he was going to blow my brains out. Or that Herschel's mistress told police that Walker threatened to, quote, blow her head off. Did you know about the cheerleader who accused Herschel of threatening and stalking her, following her to her home? Or that during one domestic violence call, Herschel Walker threatened a, quote, shootout with police. He threatened to kill women. He threatened to kill cops. After the violence, the abuse, the stalking, the death threats, Herschel Walker still has not been forthright with the people of Georgia. Not about his violent behavior or the threats he has made against women and police. So we have to wonder how many more women are out there and what stories might they tell? Now ask yourself, are you still thinking about voting for Herschel Walker? Certainly Gary Black versus Warnock would be very intriguing in the state. Oh, if I were Warnock, you want to face her Walker. You want it to be Herschel Walker. Because in that, in either, right, you, Warnock Black, the race is about Warnock the incumbent. Warnock Walker, the race is about Walker. And you and I both know an incumbent would love it not to be a referendum on them. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMAnow.com with the one and only Herschel Walker. How's it going? Hello, man. Hello, All right, good. You're at the Straight Force Ranch supporting your teammates. And um, we rolled a little bit today. We yes. sparred a little bit today. You know, that was really uh, exciting. Yes, you beat me up. I no, I don't, I don't think that's yes, what I remember. Like. Like. You got me tired. <laughs> I, I won't want to be getting tired. <laughs> Wait, what made you go, you know, I want to try this cage fight. Like, what, what, what was it? Did you watch it? Yeah, you know, I've always loved martial arts. I've always loved martial arts for years. I've always loved it. And they started this cage fight. I don't know if that's what they did. I want to try this for because I love it you know, that take some type of car and do something in it. And you know, they ask me about it, you know, I love it, dude. Uh, Scott Parker and uh, Bob Cooper, you know, to go to our college and make a call and make a call. And they told me that I did very well. And it's a rehearsal. If you go to a camp, you can get into a fight. You can get into a cage. And I said, okay, how long to do that? So I uh, came up to a uh, PKA, and I was here for about eight months. I have eight months, I'm like, 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 very ready to be in this. Well, you're ready to fight. Uh, so I've trained for another four more months. And then I ended up in the cage. Two and over. Oh, yes, two and over. Oh. It was funny because they said, I'm going to be in the fight. I guess two and over. I'm like, that's not a minute fight. It's only two fights. Kind of like a trial match. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I said, yo, it was something that I really enjoyed. You know, but I've been in the practice with guys that have been doing this for a long time. And you realize where you're at. Uh, you know, I said this is an incredible, incredible sport. You know, I'm, I'm happy to speak for it, but there's guys that can really, really fight. They're very good fighters. I'm not even in the you know, I can be this world-class athlete, but you really, really need to train in this sport. This is not a sport where you can just walk off the street thinking you can do it. You're going to get into the gym. What was your, uh, what was your martial arts background? Taekwondo? <laughs> yeah, Taekwondo. I was a fifth grade. Black belt and well, that explains I, uh, why you're stop side kicking me when I'm going for my sliding oh, side yeah, kicks. Yeah, 
I am. Okay. Yeah, I've been so I was only second degree. Yeah. So that explains yeah, it. You got I, three I, degrees I, on me. Yeah, I've been doing <laughs> Tiger enough for years. It's funny. I used to fight in the martial arts on Sundays after college football games. I would like get up, go to church, and go fight in the martial arts tournament. And people just freaked out that I would do something like that. And I said, you know, what it is, it's just that I love training. I'm a guy that loves to train. I love to learn. And uh, that's what I was doing. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not just impressed with your athleticism and reaction speed, but you were stop jabbing me. Today you hit me with a, a, like a check hook. That yeah, hook was really solid. You know, and your stop side kicks from any time I could try to come in on like a 2 from 2 or whatever I was trying to throw, you didn't throw me. He's like, he's like Bruce Lee for real. Oh, yeah, right. fits. Yeah. You know, he, he was doing that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I, I think that's really interesting. What do you think about all, you got so many guys from AKA fighting on this. We can walk off here, here at Strike Force, and then yes. see you next week. I got some amateurs fighting tonight. And, uh, you know, there's a yeah, I'm really happy to see those guys fight. You know, those guys train so hard in the gym. Whenever they can get a fight, I'm so happy for them because, you know, it's tough to fight. I mean, it is very, very hard to fight because, you know, you don't have a lot of defense up there. You have a lot of, like, inside of it. But you don't have a lot of defense, but if you get guys in fights, I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. And, you know, uh, tomorrow night, you know, Daniel uh, fighting Josh McMahon. It's going to be a great, great fight. What's funny about it, you know, I love Josh. Josh and I did some uh, PR work together. I love Josh. Everyone know I got to take my boy Daniel. I told people when Daniel got an opportunity to come to this event, I said, Daniel, you're going to shock the world. Because this guy can really fight. I've been in the gym with him for a long time. As people don't understand him. They think he's just a wrestler. But I think now he, they've seen it. This guy is a little bit different. So I think Josh Nick is going to catch all he can catch tomorrow night. Do you think he's going to be on the feet, or do you think one of the guys might? I, well, I was just told that Josh is going to try to get a takedown. Yeah, do you think I, that Danny will go for a takedown? I think Josh may try to go for a takedown. I think Josh may go for a takedown because he's a good wrestler, a good jiu-jitsu guy. You know, Josh been doing this for a long, long time. Josh ain't no joke. Josh he's was a catch wrestling guy. That's, that's why he's what I'm saying. Joke. And you know, he, uh, you know, he was a world champion before they stripped him of his belt. So it's not like he uh, lost his belt. So uh, I think he's got a lot to prove us. But I think what Daniels is, I think Bob Cook and Javier are in the gym if they have taught Daniels to use his hands. You know, you gotta, in this sport, you've got to be all, all around. You can't just be a wrestler. You can't just be a stand-up guy, a jiu-jitsu guy. You've got to be an all-around fighter. Or you've got to get that far. And that's what they've been working with Daniels. And that's what, that's what Josh Burnett is. I think Josh Burnett is a, a true talent. He does everything he does well. And I think tomorrow night he's going to be very good. I think Gilbert Fernandez uh, and, uh, and uh, Josh Thompson, you know, Josh Thompson is in the gym. Josh, he uh, he lost his belt to get. So Gilbert has had it that long. Josh was out for a long time. He came back. And that was one of the fights of the uh, year, that fight there, which was a couple of years ago. So I think that's going to be a very, very good fight. Well, Gilbert is such a great, great fight. Gilbert really is. I mean, he's a, he's a you know, he's guy a, who could be playing the DJ Pans and cross yeah. over the UFC and stuff, and it never happened. But he's a guy who he's a, he's easily a good fighter. Yeah. Yeah. And I think what Josh got to do is what Josh used to do in his old school. What Josh got to do is, uh, you know, do the way he got to go in there to be real, real aggressive. I think, in which is what he's going to do, be real aggressive. Yeah. You can listen to it. He's got to He's got kicking tools and other tools. Yeah, yeah. Gilbert really does. Yeah. Gilbert's pretty much a boxer. He's a more offensive wrestler. And defense, man, I think that's what Josh got to do. Use his tools. I think he can be successful. I think the Mike Cowell fight is going to be an interesting fight because I think Mike beat him years, years ago. So I, I think Faison is, uh, I think he, I think he People sleep there. on Mike Cowell a little bit. They should. Uh, they okay, should sleep Kane, on Kane is fighting uh, Bigfoot Silva, he Giant does. Head, yes. and Mike Cowell knocked him down. Yes. Like, people and forget about that. What's, uh, what's funny about it, Mike Cowell's been very good at it. In the gym, his hands are very, very good. So um, I'm not sure what Faison uh, strategy is, but. I don't know if you really want to stand that. You know, I don't think you want to stand that too long. But Mike Cowell's hands are very good. If it goes long and Fajal establishes low kicks and moves yes. and stuff, maybe that's good for him. Yeah, if Kyle good. jumps on him with hands yeah, right away and comes aggressive, like you, I think he's got to be aggressive. You know, the one thing I'm glad to see is Mike is in shape. Mike is really in shape. He's looking forward to his fight. He just had a beautiful little goal. So he's like, 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 but I tell you what, it's going to be a great fight. I think the strike force call is going to be absolutely incredible. Less, last question for you is, is there any advice you could give to, you know, high school kids, young kids out there that are they're thinking about being a fighter or a football player or going into athletics? So, you know, got any advice? You know advice I can give these guys? they got to work. And, and what I mean by that is you got to believe in yourself and you've got to be willing to work at what you do. You know, nothing is going to come easy. 
I think some people think things are easy, but you know, nothing's going to come easy. If you work, continue to believe in yourself, and know that you can do it. I don't care if you believe it, no one else believes it, but you got to continue to have it. I think that says it all. Thank you very much. Right, you're right now. Great to, care care now. to be with you today. Thank you very much. And uh, guys, go to ProMMANow.com and please subscribe to my YouTube page. Learn all kinds of techniques at Dan the Wolfman 1. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you. Bye. Hey, man. He's not a politician. The reason I'm here with you today is a very clear answer to that for this race. I'm here because that leader for this race is Herschel Walker. But what is happening, we got people in Washington not doing the right thing. They're not right. being leaders. I'm going to tell you right now, all of that doing to worry about someone else, what we need to be worried about is our police guys. Y'all see crime in this, y'all see crime in this, in this area. And then, but yet, the guy we're running against, can y'all believe this? He called all men and women thugs and bullies, our policemen. And then he said, he said that in the debate, I support them. I'm like, no, you don't. Quit lying. Don't bear false witness, sir. You're my family, and I protect my family. And I'm sick and tired of people talking about how bad we are. I'm sick and tired of them talking about how bad this country is. I'm sick and tired of them saying that we can't do it because we can. But the way we do it, we get out in November. We get out right now during the early voting, and we get people in the office that care about this country. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not looking to be on anything except to protect my family, that you guys are my family. So we got to get leaders in Washington that got the strength to be a leader, be that warrior that I was talking about. God said, I don't want no politician, because I don't even know how to spell politician, but I do know how to spell warrior, and I'm that warrior that he's been talking about. I'm the one that's going to go to Washington and say, no, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm sick of this. I represent Georgia. The guy I'm running against the Friday night, he made a lot of excuses. He even blamed me for some of them. He even blamed me for some of them. And I told him, you got to stand up. Don't use the Bible as a convenience to use these different quotes. Read the whole Bible. The whole Bible talks about responsibility, accountability, and independence. It talks about you doing for yourself. It talks about forgiveness. It talks about we doing it together because in the Bible, it said, together we stand, divided we fall, because there's no house divided can ever stand. And if he read that, he would know that. Some know Herschel Walker as the 1982 Heisman Trophy winner, while others remember him for the 8,000 plus yards he gained while playing for four different NFL teams from 1986 to 1997. For airmen on Beale Air Force Base, Herschel Walker is a helping hand. Since 2008, he's partnered with the Patriot Support Program Anti-Stigma Campaign to share his own story about resiliency and inspire military service members to get the help they need. There's nothing wrong with you. All it is, you left home with the wrong hat on, or you may have a challenge in your life that has been so, so tough, it's tough to deal with, but there are professional people out there that can help you to get back on track. If anything is going wrong in your life, I don't care what it is, there's no shame to go get help. You know, I've been through a tough time in my life, and I know you can get help and you can feel better. Nearly 15 years ago, Walker was diagnosed with Dissociative Identity Disorder. DID is a form of multiple personality disorder, which Walker discusses in his book, Breaking Free, My Life with Dissociative Identity Disorder. DID is characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality states that continually have power over the person's behavior. While at the independent cinema, Beale's based theater, he described his story to airmen leading to the purpose of his visit, how getting help was the right decision. And I told someone once, I said, I don't know whether the idea exists, but the treatment and the work I went through to make it get out of my life have eased my life. I'm not doing the crazy things I was doing before. I'm not uh, feeling the way I felt before. So whether any illness exists or not, why don't you go through the treatment and see? Because I can guarantee you that uh, as you get to the end of that treatment, you're not going to be feeling the same way you were feeling during those dark days. Amid speaking with airmen and their leadership, the former Dallas Cowboy was treated to a 120 mile per hour chase car ride down the flight line. I, I always look forward to it and I always come away with a smile on my face knowing that uh, the reason we have the great country we have is because we have the best military servicemen and women in the world. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class, Benjamin Buganig.
The Herschel Walker campaign is in free fall as they frantically try to find a game plan to counter the narrative. It's been a terrible few days for the non-candidate. And it seems every hour, Walker is changing his story or coming out with a bizarre explanation. First, Walker denied the allegations completely. But then he said even if it were true, there would not be any shame in paying for an abortion, a statement that produced more than a bit of nervousness among Republicans. In the meantime, the GOP is bickering among themselves about how best to counter this ugly narrative. Some want to act more Trump-like and attack the media. Others seem to just want this all to go away, something that most certainly is not happening. And do not forget, the debate with Senator Raphael Warnock is coming up. Walker will definitely be asked about all his dirty laundry. How will he respond? That's if he shows up for the debate at all, something many on Twitter are speculating about. In the meantime, his campaign is going to hell and a handbasket. Witness some very amusing responses on Twitter to his current situation. Walker will claim one of his alternate personalities is the real culprit. He couldn't pick himself out of a lineup. Cult over the country. Wasn't me. Does this win him a free subscription to Truth Social? He could always say Hunter Biden paid for the abortion. Honorary member of the Trump Liars Club. And something tells me there will be more where this came from. Herschel Walker is a walking scandal, and everybody knows it. Let's do the work to keep Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock in the Senate.